Hey, what is up everybody? It is No One Shell Carbax with a post maintenance video as the servers go down. I want to bring you the information that is coming in this arc and the information to present to you on information that is coming, which is gonna be pretty good. I'm I'm rather interested in it. And we'll go over it. There's some new officers, there's away missions now in the game, and stuff like that. So let me start with um don't forget to like, the subscribe, the bell notification down below. Remember to hit that see more button, come join the Discord, and blow that as a donation link if you want to donate. And under that is the join button. Click that join button, become a member for the two, five, ten, or twenty bucks a month. It's all that however you depends on you want it. It's all up to you if you want to help out. But let's start over let's start with um your ticket events. So we're gonna have our normal amount of ticket events, but they'll be introducing rare ticket events. So there's gonna be another ticket and a converter for that. Just saying, it's gonna be out there. Um we have about 48 new research nodes for away missions and there's gonna be some good ones i'm gonna show you it and then elkar's made a dot, uh, photo of what the tree is gonna look like i'm gonna show you a generalization of the tree and we'll go over that um and we have new officers which i'm kind of excited for because it's the next generation it's the next generation arc one the everything that they've been alluding to everything they've been hinting to with all these bumps up in the game trying to hype it up so let's get into the videos of it so let me grab the officers so give me a second boom and turn my speakers down so i don't have to hear it so let's go to the desktop so now as we see starting off the bat beverly data jordy and then our top side we have more of them we have data troy beverly La, uh, laforge and Riker. what why do we have so many officers so they're going to be changing the post game of the game or the beginning of the game to instead of getting you those normal officers, they're going to give you cadets from TNG and missions from TNG and stuff like that. So there's going to be a whole new set of uh, cadets in the game. So let's go over it. Boom. Oof, that looks horrible. So here we go. So we have next gen data common officer. So his main ability is going to be like the rest of them. Next day, uh, increases weapon damage by 5%. They're going to be exactly to what the other ones are. I'm not going to read the whole gist of it because we know I, I suck terribly at it. You guys can go through it when it comes out. And he's upgrading it. And his and then we have Empathic for Troy. So what's hers? Next Gen Troy increases the shield deflection by 5%. These are all our base cadets. It gives us write-ups. They're not really giving us the... Here, let me... Actually, I don't even have the write-ups for that one. Those officers. By the write-ups for the others. So then we have basically Crusher, which is basically Bones for the beginning levels or whatever they want to call it. So we have that. And the meat and potatoes, those officers are going to be clones of the original. So people who have been playing the game for a while, they're going to make sure we have the officers and we don't have to re-recruit them, yada, yada, yada. But place players, this is the officers you're going to start with. The new cadets, they call them. And then Riker. It's all the same stuff. And let's get it actually into it. So here we go. So here we go. We have rare Beverly Crusher. Her main ability is when fighting hostile armadas, Beverly Crusher increases the armor, shield deflection, and dodge by 150%. Um, let's see if they go over the later half of her information. If not, I have it right in front of me. And then there's her all right up. If you guys want to read it. Boom, boom. And the upgrader. All right, so let me read actually the gist of it since they didn't give us the second part of it. So, um, da -da -da -da, Beverly Crusher. Her first one is do not harm. When fighting Armada hostiles, heals your ship by a percent by, from crew health. Um, her other one is unshakable morale code. When fighting Armada's hostile mitigation by X percent of the crew's defense. So that's going to be an interesting one. And now we're into uh, data. So as you see right there, data is when fighting non-player targets, including mission hostiles, data increases the armor piercing and shield piercing at 60 by 60 percent when fighting non-player so this is a hostile one so would he make a good hostile officer that's really interesting he might be a good secondary for like when you're hitting explorers because that's what it is it's anti-explorer there'll be some testing we need to be done sorry i had it paused play and we go over that and let's stop there let's go over data secondary ability so let me find data uh, increases crit chance versus hostile armada targets. I don't have the second part. Okay, yeah, so here's the second part. Increases the crit chance versus hostiles and armada effort 
our, our modded targets yields its uh, our effort yields its own reward against non-player penetration by x percent that's the whole thing i read them for them and its ability is called prosthetic precision there's the write-up on that one and now we're on to jordy jordy laforge epic jordy laforge so his main ability jordy laforge increases weapon damage against klingon hostiles at 100 percent now we have another anti-klingon officer which is wonderful so let's go over his one um okay klingon hostiles uh his main ability is called his captain is field strip fusion Increasing reward drops for Armada, so he's going to be another Armada officer. So, what you guys are seeing is, most of these officers are Armada-based officers, but they have their secondaries that is usable outside, like Datas, Geordies, and Crushers. So, it's going to be interesting to see what they are. They're going to be, I think they're going to be useful. So, what else do we have left? There's his write-up, blah, blah, blah. Alright, so now let's get into the next part of this video. Let me move my notes away from here, and let's go take a look at away teams. So, as you see as it sped by, there is a new building, the away team building. It is a new building that's there for away team specifically. As you see, you have missions you can choose from. You can start, it gives you X amount of rewards. As you get higher up, they're going to have faction credits, ships, officers, and that'll be your main way of getting data. So, he'll be going through this. This is the how you're going to get them. Um, and then if that's... The whole thing is you're going to send officers out for an X amount of time and they're going to come back with A, a reward or B, that you can get a critical chance. And this is, I hear you see critical chance bonus. So it's going to be the officers that you have, that you stack up with them and it'll give you a better chance of getting that critical chance. These are all, remember, level 10 stuff. So they're not the higher level away missions. So they haven't showed us information or gave us a breakdown of that, but it's going to be quite interesting. So it goes over that. I'm not going to drag this video out and goes over that same thing gives you and then the, okay there's speed ups there's a whole new type of speed ups in the game that you'll earn through another way of getting it and then there is a refresh out there for if you want to run if you finish them early and or go through them and you can refresh the missions once you finish them or if you didn't like the missions that you currently got but it's only if you have the refresh token as you see down there at the bottom side i'm blocking it it's the refresh token as you see speeding through it and here's the completion of it he won 906 ship experience and see the refresh. He clicks the refresh and boom, there's a refresh of his daily or his dailies for away missions. And you see has three crew slots. And as you see, every time he adds officer, it'll give you a crit chance bonus. Well, it kind of doesn't change, but you're hundred percent guaranteed the first one. If you fill it up. All right. So that's that one. And now let's take a look at the research tree and then we'll go over the document that Elkar showed us. So here's the research tree. It doesn't look too great at first. So if you go through it, we have away missions permanently gives you the ability to get extra away mission teams, um, unlocks the chance of getting an uncommon away mission. So there's going to be certain ones, uh, permanently adds the chance of getting away missions at a duh. And then it's permanently grants the ability to get extra away mission assignments. And this is going to come with a new currency to get them. Uh, permanently grants the ability to get away missions team assignments from faction factions will only offer assignments to those who have high reputation so there's gonna be some specific faction ones unlocks the rare away team assignments um permanently adds blah 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 there's a new prime so new prime permanently grants the ability to get extra away missions so yeah that's and that's basically the list of it but that's not where it gets interesting so the first uh let's see 11 nodes are 11 to 29, which is the ones you're seeing right now. The main, like, meat and potatoes is plus 30, is going to be. So anything 30 plus, you'll see it. So I'm going to grab the document for you guys. So, oh my god, you guys can't see this. Let me fix that. Boop, 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 boop. All right. So we saw this part, which is all starts at level 10. So we, we saw this part right here. And we saw the, this one right here. And it requires special material for these. So it's not costing uncommons or any of that kind of stuff. But this, the ones that start to get interesting is when you get to the later half into 30. So at Operations 30, this is where you start seeing stuff. So you have your away missions. Then we have Prime Material Extractor. There's going to be a Prime for that. Increases the mining rate of G, uh, grade or all grades of crystal gas and ore. So it's going to reflect on G4 stuff. So people are excited. We're going to have like Explore Overcharge. Increases damage for Explorers against Hostiles or Interceptors battleships then we have a new frame 
Um, faction agent permanently grants the ability to get extra away missions. Cool. Um, transporter capacity increases the cargo size of all survey ships. Increases cargo size for all survey ships, which means bigger numbers for rating. So it's going to be about 40 percent. It's and it's still going to be significant because it's off of base. And then you add your officers and your other stuff on top of it, which increases like two to ten and stun. Then we have um, G3 extractors for crystal gas and ore, which is another bump. And it's at 37 where it ends and you get about a 50% increase at 37, which remember these all require the specific material to do it. Um, then we have uh, rerouting shields, increase the defense of all officers, uh, tactical agent increases the attack of stats of all officers, increases health stats of all officers. We go down to the bottom, Federation gravitation shield increases the max shields for, or for uh, Federation. Then we have one for Klingon and Romulan, which goes all the way up to 42. And then we have shuttlecraft stuff, protected cargo increases at, uh, starts at ops 30 to 43. So we have another protected cargo bump. Then we have, um, increases mining or mining, uh, what increases damage when on defending mining nodes. Cool. Um, so it gives your little shit, your little miner a little longer to last. Um, we have Federation Notoriety, increase the amount of Federation, Klingon, blah, 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 those are all the same. Uh, mining Bunker reduces the opponent's damage done, so it's going to give you more mitigation for your miner. Um, Charistic Order, which starts at 35, increases the stats of all captains on the ship, which is kind of cool. Synchronized Crew increases all stats of officers on the bridge, that's even cooler. Then we have Runabouts, more frames. Um, then we have 35 to 50. Increases damage to all explorers versus interceptors. We have unstoppable explorers, which gives them more armor dodge deflection for explorers. Increases armor dodge and deflection for interceptors. Increases this is cool. There's a lot of stuff that's in the street that starts after 30, which is going to help you in the late game. Um, advanced interceptor stuff. Um, then we have increases battleship steel. For, so we have specific stuff that are rounded right here at the bottom. So we have increased the damage for battleships deal. To explore so we're going to have more triangle based stuff which is kind of cool we have all that across the board which is kind of really cool um then we have at 35 to 45 which is called uh infamy and heroism which increase attack defense of all officers so we're going to see a really good officer bump so those bottom end stats are going to really matter um then we have shuttle cap another frame um epic away team assignments at post 39 then we have more stuff that helps 40 to 50. So I'm just going to smooth over. So 50 or ops 41, you get the, another prime, which increases the speed of all ships by 200%. So they're going to get there quicker. So you're not going to be able to use your uh, discovery a little less. Um, let's see. Increase the speed research. Da -da -da. So here's one that's interesting. We have Klingon hauler, Romulan hauler, and Federation hauler. So we have three new things for... Klingon survey ships. We have more cargo size after post 40 to get in for those bigger raids. So it's going to be interesting. We have all this right here. You guys can smooth, go over it, go over the, re go over this photo. I'll probably post this probably after everything is live. So you guys can go through it and it's real rather interesting. Um, got to give a big shout out for DJ and Fartasia for putting this together. It is visually pleasing and it is really good information that gives us I am glad they put it together. So what we learned from this video, we have a lot of researchers post or after 30 that's going to really help you in the game, really help your hostile killing, PvP, mining, just a bunch of stuff, just crazy. And then we have away mission assignments, which I'm not totally excited yet. I need to experience it and go over it because once I do, I think I'm going to enjoy it because faction credits, ships, officers, it'll give us a whole new thing to do officers that we don't even use in the game. And if you think about like all this research you see here, is it increase the stats of your officers, meaning you're going to have to have less on your bottom end deck to reach those 150% marks, 200% marks, 300% marks. It's crazy what it's going to be. It's going to be an interesting update. And it's TNG. We all love TNG. And they can do so much with it. And hopefully they'll do arcs that have to do with Klingons, Romulans, Federation. Bring more officers to the game. Bring more uh, Klingons to the game. Bring more Romulans to the game. Bring everything but Federation officers to the game. Because it's Federation driven this game. All right, guys, this is all I have for you guys today. I wanted to go over what I had for you and present it to you guys. Enjoy the game when it goes live. Enjoy it. I'll go over some more when it's done. But remember to be happy. Enjoy the game. If you get mad, glad, sad, whatever you want to call it, just take a break. Bubble up and just relax. All right, guys, 
Remember with that like, that subscribe button, that bell notification down below. Remember below that in the see more, click that button. You can join my Discord and below that is gonna be a donation if you wanna donate. And then below that is a join button. Become a member for either two, five, 10 or 20 bucks a month. I'd greatly appreciate it for you guys supporting me. You guys are awesome. I love you guys. Peace out. Have a wonderful day.